What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to tonight's Transfer News Roundup. This is going out quite late, but there have been developments throughout the day since we last streamed that I wanted to bring to your attention. Namely, apparently, according to one outlet, Alison Becker is open to a move to Saudi. So I'm going to have a look at that, as well as a couple of other transfer stories, of course, asking you guys to let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy it, and most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button the countdown has now officially started to the last three Anfield Agenda live stage performances we're going to be in Belfast on the 31st of May you can get those tickets on Ticketmaster we're also going to be in Cardiff August 2nd at the Richard Burton Theatre and in Liverpool at the Hot Water Comedy Club on August the 4th all of those tickets can be gotten with the link in the description of this video we hope to see you there the Cardiff and the Liverpool shows are all ages events so it doesn't matter if you're 10 or 90 everybody's welcome along so look let's get stuck into the stories and I'm going to quickly go through the ones we reported on earlier today in the live stream and then bring it round to the later news so the first story that we spoke about today was a report from Spain that said Liverpool have had a 120 million euro offer rejected for Real Madrid's Rodrigo now I would say to take this with a massive pinch of salt because it feels like more of a propaganda piece to me. It's on a very Real Madrid friendly outlet and basically it looks to me like they're just trying to big themselves up again. That yes, they might be bringing in the likes of Mbappe and Bellingham, but they don't need to sell any of their stars and he's an important asset. Look, I'd have him in a heartbeat, but I don't really think there's much to this story. So I would put it on a certain island in the Mediterranean. Next up though, my friends, is a little bit of a more interesting one. A return to last summer. Remember when we were linked to Kefren Thuram, only for Liverpool not to follow through with it? The, the fee last year was going to be about €30 million, which is about €35 million. Euro. But it has been reported in France today that Nice would be willing to listen to offers of around €15.15 million, euro, which is about well, just under €13 million. Pound. Now, with Thiago moving on, I think if you want to bring somebody in for a bit of squad depth, this would be a very interesting move for me. Rafaela Pimenta is his agent. You might remember photos last year of uh, herself sitting outside the Nice offices waiting to go in for a meeting. And we were all thinking, oh, is this it? Are we going to see Kefren Thuram at Liverpool? Well, let's see if Michael Edwards revisits this one or Liverpool revisit it over the summer. 15 million euro seems like a very decent price, though. So maybe one to keep an eye on. Another thing today that I'm sure hasn't escaped your attention is Jurgen Klopp filming inside Anfield. He was on the cop and in the centre circle of the pitch and it looks like he was filming a piece to say goodbye. Sunday is going to be a very emotional day for all concerned. So keep an eye out for that piece dropping from Liverpool uh, soon enough, I would imagine. A little bit on Coop Miners as well. Uh, Tudor Sport in Italy suggests that Atlanta are open to selling him and that Liverpool are interested in a 60 million euro deal. He previously worked with our incoming coach Arne Slot at AZ Alkmaar. But again, I would ask, do we need to spend 60 million? euro on a 26 year old in a position where we're pretty stocked I mean he's not a defensive midfielder by nature yes Arne Slaw has worked with him and trusts him but to me he, I'm okay with it I'm okay either way but it wouldn't be top of my list he's a solid pro but again I think Liverpool could joke to a look excuse me to a younger hungrier midfielder uh, but I'd like to know your thoughts on it the big stories though and one that's come out later on this evening is another link for Barcelona and Luis Diaz this, I believe, comes from a Barcelona fan account, but they do put out a post to say FC Barcelona will try to sign Luis Diaz this summer. He's the most desired winger at the club. And then they talk about Liverpool's price a little bit and whether we'd be willing to sell. But ultimately, I want to know what you guys think. Is this just media talk? Does Lucho really want to leave Liverpool? Or are Barcelona really at the table to spend as much as it would take? We know Luis Diaz's father speaking previously, spoken previously, I should say, about the interest in his son going to play in Barcelona. But for me, I've always said the same thing. I wouldn't be actively looking to move Lucho on. But if he wants to go and Barca came to the table with an offer that was acceptable, I do think he is a replaceable player. But as I said, wouldn't be actively looking to sell. And I still don't know where Barcelona are going to come up with the 70 million that I think Liverpool would look for to sell Lucho. So again, would love to know your thoughts on that one. Uh, another story today with regards to a goalkeeper is a goalkeeper who'd been linked with us in the past has been linked with us once again. Now, 
now it will be as a backup position so don't stress about it when I tell you the name but links today have said that Liverpool along with a couple of other clubs are interested in Southampton's Alex McCarthy as a replacement for the departing Adrian San Miguel now if it's to come in a second or third choice keeper I'm okay with it he's a solid pro um, and it is what it is you know it's one of those so if indeed he is available which it looks like he is it seems Liverpool and Newcastle are the names being linked with a move for Southampton's Alex McCarthy and the last story that I want to bring to you guys actually sorry I'm lying to you it's the second to last story another report in Spain from Spanish outlet Sports say that Barcelona have given up hope of trying to sign Dani Olmo because Liverpool and other Premier League clubs are believed to be sniffing around they say that he's going to cost £54 million if anybody would like to buy him from Leipzig and again it's a, a name we've been linked with in the past so I mean, I'll leave it to you guys to think what you think. Do you think Liverpool or anybody's going to pay fifty million, fifty-four million pound for Almo? Do you think he's worth it? I don't know. But Barcelona's name has been thrown around a lot in this transfer window. For a club with no money, they certainly seem to be linked to a lot of moves. Now, the big story and the one that worries me the most, and I touched on at the start of this video, was a report that says today that Alison Becker is open to a move to Saudi. Now. I'm going to read out a section of it and let you guys make up your own mind. But this says that despite him being pivotal at Liverpool, earnings of over £200,000 a week aren't uh, going unnoticed at Liverpool, shall we say. And a significant bid could be hard for the club to resist, according to this piece. They go on to speak about players going over to Saudi Arabia. And they quote Alison Becker's family not really... Uh, enjoying the climate shall we say in Liverpool and looking for more favourable weather which that part of it I totally understand but I've no idea if this story is true or if it's absolute nonsense the author is a guy by the name of Peter Staunton who claims to be a freelance journalist having worked with some big publications MSN UK the Economic Times and a few others the Mirror UK quotes as outlets that he's worked with so I'll leave it up to you guys to do your own digging on this one but it is unfortunately yet another link story or conversation about Alison Becker maybe departing I hope it isn't true in my opinion Alison's the best goalkeeper in the world but I would say this if Alison Becker for whatever reason does indeed depart Liverpool this summer I hope we haven't sold Quivian Kelleher because he should be the one stepping up in my humble opinion I think we've seen enough from Quivian that he can be Liverpool's number one. I'd like to see a very strong number two brought in if this is the case. But of course, we are here talking about worst case scenarios. So now it is over to you guys. I've let you know all the stories that I've read today. Tried to give you my thoughts on them, whether I think they're credible or not. Now it's over to you guys to let us know your thoughts. Do you think that this is all smoke without any fire for Alison Becker? Do you believe the story about Rodrigo? And of course, again, more on Lucho. What would you do if you were Liverpool? and that offer from Barcelona came in one thing you don't want to do my friends is keep an unhappy player we've seen with the Coutinho situation how Barcelona can destabilise a player at a club so for me if Lucho wanted out and the offer made chance to Liverpool I don't think he's irreplaceable but that's just one man's opinion now of course it's over to you let us know your thoughts and I will be back tomorrow we did say we were going to stream at 6 o'clock tomorrow but we've changed that up we're going to come back to a regular slot tomorrow night at half past 8 look forward to catching up with you guys then thanks for watching bye bye